In this video, we'll share the top 17 things to do in Yokohama. At number one, we have Sankayan Garden. This traditional Japanese garden is a serene escape with many historical buildings that were relocated from all across Japan. The garden's tea houses and guest house are architectural marvels, offering a peaceful retreat and a deep dive into Japanese history. At number two, we have Yokohama Red Brick Warehouse. This historic building was originally a customs inspection center and storage area. Now, it's a vibrant mix of eateries and boutiques. The picturesque red brick exterior and waterfront setting make it a must-visit spot in Yokohama. At number three, we have Chinatown, home to hundreds of shops and restaurants. Yokohama's Chinatown is a culinary paradise. The area is vibrant and offers a variety of dining experiences, from all-you-can-eat menus to market stalls. The Contibio Temple at its center adds a spiritual dimension to this bustling neighborhood. At number four, we have Cup Noodles Museum Yokohama. This interactive museum is dedicated to instant noodles and their inventor, Momofuku Ando. Visitors can create their own custom cup noodles in the My Cup Noodles factory, learn about the history of instant noodles, and even try different noodle dishes from around the world. At number five, we have Zurasia. Yokohama Zoological Gardens, commonly known as Zurasia, is one of Japan's newest, largest, and most well-designed zoo. The zoo aims to create an environment as close to nature as possible, with animals housed in spacious areas. It's a great place to learn about wildlife conservation and to see a wide variety of animals from around the world. At number six, we have Yokohama Landmark Tower. Offering panoramic views of the city, especially stunning at night, the Landmark Tower is one of Japan's tallest buildings. On clear days, you can even see Mount Fuji from its observation deck, making it a favorite spot for photographers and sightseers. At number seven, we have Gundam Factory Yokohama. This is a must-visit for fans of the Gundam series. The highlight is a life-sized, moving Gundam robot, standing at an impressive 18 meters tall. The facility offers an exhibition space, a cafe, and a shop where visitors can learn about the technology behind this iconic robot and buy exclusive merchandise. At number eight, we have the Kanagawa Prefectural Museum of Cultural History. From ancient artifacts to vibrant Edo period woodblock prints, the museum showcases Kanagawa throughout history to the present times. The ground floor features a library, a museum shop, and a cafe, making it a comprehensive cultural experience. At number nine, we have Yokohama Hakejima Sea Paradise. This large amusement park consists of an aquarium, shopping mall, hotel, and marina. The aquarium, one of the main attractions, showcases a wide variety of marine life. The park also offers thrilling rides and shows, making it a perfect destination for a day of adventure. At number 10, we have Yokohama Stadium. Catching a baseball game here is a unique experience, blending sports with local culture. The stadium, one of the few American-style baseball stadiums in Japan, offers a lively atmosphere and a chance to mingle with local fans. And now a word from our sponsors. When it comes to traveling, one major risk that many people overlook is cyber hacking. Public Wi-Fi networks in airports, hotels, and cafes can easily expose your data to hackers anywhere we roam. Even using mobile data makes you vulnerable to potential surveillance and intrusions. That's why protecting your privacy with a VPN is absolutely essential when you're on the move. And that's where private internet access comes in. PIA creates an encrypted tunnel to safeguard all of your online activity whenever and wherever you connect while traveling. So no more worrying about your passwords, bank accounts, emails, or personal info being intercepted over an unsecured connection in a foreign country. PIA secures all your browsing and blocks anyone from tracking your location or logging what sites you visit. If you're looking at traveling soon, then Private Internet Access is offering three months free on their subscriptions and 82% off if you use one of the links in the description. So now you've got your VPN, let's get back to the video. At number 11, we have Shin Yokohama Ramen Museum. This museum is a tribute to Japan's beloved ramen, featuring a one-to-one -one replica of downtown Tokyo from 1958. Visitors can enjoy a bowl of ramen in a setting that transports them back in time, making it a unique culinary and historical experience. At number 12, we have Osanbashi Yokohama International Passenger Terminal. This architectural marvel has a history of expansions and restorations. Its rooftop square offers a panoramic view of Yokohama, and the interior houses a variety of restaurants and shops. The pier's design concept of a garden port makes it a unique spot to relax and enjoy the city's beauty. At number 13, we have the Yokohama Museum of Art. Located in the Minato Mirai 21 district, this museum houses over 13,000 art pieces, including works by Dali, Magritte, Cezanne, and Picasso. The museum's architecture, with a 20-meter-high open ceiling, adds to the grandeur. At number 14, we have Yokohama Moto 
Muromachi. This shopping street, with its western feel, is delightful for a leisurely stroll. Once a shopping area for foreigners living in Yokohama, Motomachi today offers a blend of shops and cafes, capturing the essence of its historic past. At number 15, we have Yokohama Cosmo World. This amusement park, located in the Minato Mirai area, is known for its iconic Ferris wheel, which offers breathtaking views of the city. The park features a variety of rides and attractions suitable for all ages, making it a perfect spot for family fun or a romantic evening. At number 16, we have Yamashita Park. This scenic seaside park stretches about 700 meters along the bay, offering a serene green space for relaxation and leisure. The park features the Hikawa Maru, a retired ocean liner turned museum, and provides stunning views of the Yokohama Marine Tower and the bustling harbor. At number 17, we have Nogayama Zoo. This small but charming zoo is located in a hilltop park and is home to a variety of animals, including monkeys, lions, and red pandas. The zoo provides a more intimate experience compared to larger zoos and is completely free to enter. So that sums up my top 17 things to do in Yokohama. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like on the video, and if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Until next time, have a great day.